you want to request a tutorial, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe with notifications, and tell me what character I should make next. Now, onto the tutorial. Hey guys, Block here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Bandana Waddle D plush with his spear. This is a remake of a previous tutorial, but this time he's modeled off of the Kirby's Adventure plush. Now, onto the materials. The fabric colors you will need are yellow, orange, and cream fabric. You may also want black, white, and brown fabric if you're going to glue or sew in the eyes. You may also want to grab cardboard for the feet if you're interested in having padding on the bottom. You will also need the two patterns which are in the first link in the description. First, cut out the paper pattern leaving the black outline. Once they're cut, they should look like this. Then cut out the according colors. The stuffing gate doesn't have a set color, as it's not visible so it can be any color, but I recommend white or cream for it. Now that all of your pieces are cut out, first take two of your foot pieces and sew this top edge and this shorter back edge together. This tutorial now has footage of me sewing the plush together in certain areas. I'm doing this now as I think it could help show you guys how to sew the plush together. Please comment your opinions on the sewing footage and if it's helpful or not, so then I can make sure to improve the tutorials. Now, it will look like this. Next, do this with your other two foot pieces. Next up, you will take your foot piece and place it on top of the sole piece like this. Once it's positioned, you can then sew it on all the way around. The finished feet will look like this. Now, if you're going to add padding on your feet, cut out two cardboard sole pieces. Once you have them cut out, trim them shorter than the normal sole piece so then they fit into the foot. You can slide them into the foot to see if they fit, and recut them if they don't. Make sure you have them outside of the foot for now. Next up, if you're going to, this is when you will iron on the face. First, Print out the eye and blush patterns on transfer paper, specifically dark so that the white of the eyes shows. You can get this transfer paper at places like Walmart or maybe Hobby Lobby. Make sure that whenever you cut these pieces, you peel back the parts on the back. Then, place a pillowcase underneath the face piece and then position the eyes and blush on top of that piece. Afterwards, put this sheet of paper on top and you can begin ironing it. Make sure to follow the instructions on the back of the paper when you iron it on. Now that you've finished ironing them on, remove the paper, and your print-ons are attached. Now that the face is done, flip it over so that the print-ons are on the back side. First, sew this bottom right corner of the body piece into this bottom left corner of the face, and then this point of the body piece with this indent of the face, and then mirror that for both sides. Now that you've sewn in the checkpoints, it should look like this. Now, fold your face piece in half, and then along this short straight edge of the body piece, take the bottom corner and sew it into the center of the head. Do this with both body pieces. When sewn up, it will look like this. Now that all three checkpoints are sewn in on each side, 
flip it to the back and sew the orange body piece to the cream face piece all the way around. Now that the body pieces are connected, you're going to sew up the two darts, this top dart and this bottom dart. To sew darts, just fold the fabric in half and then sew a line going across the edge. I will not show footage of how to sew darts since they're simple. Once they're sewn, this is the result. Now back on the inside, take your stuffing gate and sew its bottom curved edge into the seam between the face and body pieces. Make sure that the seam of the dart is aligned with the center of the stuffing gate. This is how it should look when it's sewn in. Now position the top edge of the stuffing gate right under the eyes. And then what you're going to do is specifically do a back stitch along this top edge. You will see the stitches from the front, but the back stitch will make it look nice. Now that it's sewn in, it will look like this. Now that your face is finished, Sew these two back pieces together along this curved edge without any cuts in it. Make sure that as you sew the back pieces together, you leave a hole in the center that your foot piece's cardboard can go into. If you don't have the cardboard, you still need to add this hole. Just make sure that it's big enough for one of the feet to fit through. This is the sewn up back now. Next, flip it inside out again and sew up all the darts at the top and all the darts at the bottom. Now that all the darts are sewn, both the front and back pieces are finished. Next up, take your arm and with the straighter edge, sew it into the curves on each side of the body on both the front and back pieces. Now that that's sewn up, both your front and back pieces are finished. Then place the back on top of the front. When you do this, align the top seams and stitch them together to make a checkpoint stitch. Do the same with the bottom seams and both the top and bottom seams of each arm, making sure that they're aligned. Now that those stitches are done, it should look like this. And then sew it together all the way around, making sure to not sew up the half circles at the bottom. Once everything's sewn up, you should only have two holes at the bottom and one hole in the back. Now, take your feet and stuff them into the holes, making sure that the dart closest to the center of the body is aligned with the back stitch of the shoe. You should then sew it in like this. Once you have that sewn in, you will then stuff your shoe in and sew the edge of the shoe all the way around the circle. Once the feet are sewn in, you can flip them inside out to see if you sewed them in right. And then, you will flip plush inside out through this hole in the back.
Now, you can stuff your plush, but if you're adding the cardboard padding, put that in first. Once the padding is in the plush, you can go ahead and start stuffing it. Make sure that if you have the padding, that it stays at the bottom of the foot whenever you stuff the plush. Now, to stuff the rest of the plush, you're going to want to make sure that you put a lot of stuffing between the stuffing gate and the face piece, as that will give Waddle Dee's face its form. If you don't do that, you will end up having a very flat face. Now that you've stuffed the plush, ladder stitch up the hole in the back, and then this will be your finished base Waddle Dee. Now I will show you how to make the bandana and spear for bandana Waddle Dee. For the bandana, first cut out all four of these pieces and sew two of them together along this straighter curved edge. Now, you should duplicate this for the other bandana pieces, then stack them on top of each other, aligning their seams, and then sew them together all the way around. Once you have done this, you will then cut a hole in one side of the bandana and flip it right side out. And now it will look like this with the hole on the bottom side. Now take your two knot pieces and sew them together all the way around. You will also cut a hole in the center of this one to flip it right side out. Once it's sewn, flip it right side out and it will look like this. Then you will tie it into a knot. Think of it as if you're doing the first knot on tying your shoes, but you don't go any farther than the first step. Then you will have this. Next, take it and sew it into the back of your bandana. Now that the bandana is finished, place it on Waddle Dee's head and it will look like this. You can also add extra stitches to make sure that the bandana looks a little better, as when it's sewn on, you can stretch it so he doesn't have a pinhead. For the spear, cut out all of these pieces, and first you're going to sew the two tip pieces onto the stick. Once they're sewn on, they'll look like this. Then flip the piece over itself and fold it. Now, start from here and stitch it together all the way around until you get to this bottom edge, and leave the bottom hole open. Now that your spear is sewn up, you're going to flip it inside out through the hole you left at the bottom. Now that it's like this, stuff it, and then you can ladder stitch the sole onto the bottom. Now that the sole of the spear is connected, you can then take a piece of red fabric like this and fold it over itself. Then, tie the fabric around the head of the spear. Now that it's done, you can sew it into Waddle Dee's hand. 
Then, once you've sewn the spear in, your plush is finished. If you made this plush or are planning to, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe with notifications, and tell me what character I should make next. That's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Leave a comment down below.